We get a free five star? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mal Knox and today we have another Wuthering Waves video for you. The 1.2 dev notes just dropped and there's some juicy details in there. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's jump in and take a look. So here we have the version 1.2 optimization preview with a special note from developers. We're gonna get into that special note at the end, but starting off, it's gonna be called In the Turquoise Moon Glow. All right, we know that Chang Li's banner has just about a week left on it, and 1.2 is right after that. 1.2, we're gonna see some more updates to the auto lock system, which sometimes can be very annoying. And this is gonna let us set lock on priorities based on how you wanna play. So you see we have movement direction, camera direction, or distance, so it will prioritize either locking onto an enemy the way you're moving, the way you're facing, or the closest enemy to you, which is a really great quality of life update in my opinion. Next, we have a really cool new utility. It's a new hover droid shooter. So apparently a lot of people were having an issue with, you know, having to switch around their teams to have a pistol user to do some of the puzzles, which I totally understand. It's really annoying if you're not running a pistol user to get to a puzzle, have to stop, change your team, wait for that character to deploy just to do that puzzle, and then change your team back. So now this utility is gonna allow us to have a little droid that we can control and then we can shoot with that little hover droid to complete those puzzles without having to switch to a pistol character. Again, a great quality of life update. This one I'm super excited for. We're gonna get wave plate overcapping. So that means that if you're sitting at 240 wave plates and you don't have time to get on every 12 minutes, we're gonna get one of a new currency called wave plate crystals. Wave plate crystals can be exchanged one to one for wave plates, and you're gonna be able to accrue up to 480 of these. So essentially two times the amount of wave plates that you typically have. Again, it generates one every 12 minutes, which means it's gonna take four days of not playing to totally fill up your overcapped wave plates. So if you are gonna take a little bit of a break, you're not playing for a while, you can't get on for a little bit, this is a great quality of life addition and it makes it feel like you're not really missing out as much if you're not able to get on for a couple of days or if you're just not feeling it, you're still gonna have some wave plates to spin when you get back. Another cool feature they're adding is a new resonator showcase feature where you can actually see the animation that happens when you wish for a character. You can see that right within the showcase. So you can relive that experience of pulling that character or just see the cool animations. Cause honestly, some of these animations that you have when you pull the character are so freaking cool. Now here, one that I know a lot of people have been asking about is now you have the option to play at up to 120 frames per second. If you're playing on PC, it was capped before, but now we can go up to 120 FPS if you're playing on the PC client. We're also getting some new store rewards, the depths of elusive realms. Uh, and seems that it's gonna, it says that they'll add more exchange items to the elusive store in subsequent versions. Uh, the items will be available as the convenient events for the second half of each version are released. So when the second banners are released, then we'll get more items available. Now, I don't know if that just means that like every half of the version, the store will just be like refreshed. So maybe we're gonna have some things that we can get from the elusive store, like in the first half, and then that's gonna be like refreshed in the second half, or it's gonna be different items in the second half. I'm a little bit confused on the wording there, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait until 1.2 and see exactly what it means. And we have a little update to the guidebook activity points from daily. Westing, uh, the activity reward for spending 180 wave plates, we used to get 20 points for that. Now we're gonna get 60 points for that, which is gonna make doing your dailies a lot faster if you don't have a lot of time and you just wanna hop on and complete that real quick. And finally, the moment we've been waiting for, a special note from the developers of Withering Wave in version 1.2 in the turquoise moon glow. They're introducing the Moon Chasing Festival event. They said, well, we're well aware that aspects of Wuthering Wave still have room for improvement, and we're committed to listening to your feedback to continually optimize and enhance the game. We know that, we've seen that, they've made a lot of improvements that the community has been asking for. Together, we aim to create a better Solaris 3 and offer you more thrilling adventures. And now, drum roll, please. We are getting a free five-star resonator Zhang Li Yao is going to be free in the second half of version 1.2. So this guy with the mech arm, with the tacit mark on his hair, apparently, I mean, he has a tacit mark on his hair. I don't know what that's all about, but it also looks like he has it on his hand. Maybe that's where it goes. Regardless, this dude is free, free five-star. 
Thank you, Withering Waves. That's all we had for now for the 1.2 dev notes. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And if you want to play Withering Waves with us, come and join us over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. Thanks so much for hanging out for this one, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, you stay legendary, and remember the sun will rise, and we will try again. Peace out.